Hey everyone, I'm LaQuinn if you're new here and if you're a returning subscriber, hello again and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to go over some things that occurred in my 2020 year. Before we get started, please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you'll be notified when I post a new video here on my channel. So let's get into the video. the hospital on November 1st 2019 and I rolled out of the hospital March 5th 2020 legally I can't discuss in detail what happened what I can tell you is the aftermath as far as what took place First thing I would like to mention is the fact that I'm extremely grateful to God for my second chance at life. surgeries on my legs December 2019 I had one surgery on my hand that was January 2020 I also had pneumonia three days of dialysis but I'm still here thanks to God and I'm much stronger and I'm also a lupus survivor. So I spent five months in the hospital and one month in rehab. In the beginning, I was like really weak and um, because I was on a feeding tube, I weighed about like 75 pounds. So thankfully right now, I'm back to normal weight. When I went to rehab, I actually didn't have my legs. I didn't get my prosthetic legs until I finished 
my completion of physical therapy and home care. It was definitely not easy in the beginning. I had to get used to the tightness of the prosthetic legs, so it was not fun at all. I did use a wheelchair for that entire month. You know, physical therapy actually was really fun for me because I really enjoy working out. And what I did was my PT, she is a doctor. She had me do a lot of leg exercises to build up my muscle. And I have really strong legs now. And with occupational therapy, I learned about the way to hold things, how to put on clothes, taking care of myself, especially when it comes to like bathroom care. Sometimes when I think about it, I really spent half of my year of 2020 in the hospital. And thankfully, I wasn't exposed. And I was in the hospital um, before it was known that the virus was going around. After I completed my in-home care, I was tested in June to see if I was exposed to the virus. Thankfully, I wasn't. I am high risk because of everything that I've went through. So I am being like extra careful So I still have the bottom portion. So like I have my knee, large portion of my calf. It's just like my ankle and my feet were amputated in the process. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit the bell so you'll be notified when I post a new video. Like my video, also share my video, and please comment below how your 2020 year has been. When I think back on 2020, I realized that I literally fought for my life for the first few months of me waking up from my coma. It's definitely eye-opening and I appreciate life a lot more these days. I've learned also that I'm really strong. I'm able to get through the hardest battles and I'm really thankful that God gave me strength to not give up. I was really determined to become independent like I once was before. What has happened to me has only made me stronger.
relationship with God has also gotten a lot stronger as well. And I really want to take this time to thank my family and friends that were by my side when I was in the hospital. One thing I forgot to mention was when I actually came out of the coma, um, the doctors had told me that they were gonna prepare to remove the tube that was down my throat because I was on life support. Once the tube was taken out, I actually was not able to speak for about a month or so. I had a whisper. I sounded just like this. And the stronger I got, we realized that my vocal cord was paralyzed. So I did actually go through speech therapy. Speech therapy consisted of me relearning how to talk, as well as I had a microscope that went through my nose and into the back of my throat to see how I swallowed. And she had me taste applesauce and different types of soft food to see how my throat was. And it actually turned out okay. I was very thrilled because I was finally able to physically eat solid food after not being able to eat for 25 days. I was on a feeding tube for about a month. race for gifting me these lovely Juvia's Place palettes for Christmas. So I played in this palette today. I think my look came out really pretty. And another shout out I want to give is to my friend Lindsay. She bought me a green backdrop and also some makeup. 
um, like two lip glosses and some makeup palette. So thank you sis for that. And my parents also got me some gifts for Christmas. So I had a really good Christmas. I hope you all did as well. I'm really thankful to end my year of 2020 on a high note. I've come back to YouTube. I'm feeling confident about myself. I'm actually really enjoying life. I'm enjoying my family and friends. And most importantly, I'm enjoying my relationship with God. And again, thank you to my loving family and friends for supporting me along this journey. As always, remember to live without lamentations. Thank you for watching my video. Have a happy new year. Please, if you haven't already, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And hit that bell so you'll be notified when I post a new video here on my channel. I love you guys. Talk to you later.